Hello, spiritual prayer warriors. Today is November 6th, the day after the big election, and I have a word from the Lord that I definitely want to share with you, uh, some things pertaining to what's coming up over the next four years. But before I do, I want to offer congratulations to President-elect Donald J. Trump and also to Vice President-elect J.D. Vance. I also offer Thank you to the Lions Army warriors, you mighty warriors, who took the righteous stand for America, and it's paying off. I also offer praise to the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lion of Judah, our leader, who roared and shifted the spiritual atmosphere of our nation. Praise the Lord. You know, Psalms 126, the first three verses, uh, CK, my sweet wife. Uh, gave to me this morning because she was so happy. And she said, this is what it feels like. And it reads, when the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion, we were like those who dreamed. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue was singing. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we are glad. Hallelujah. Yes, celebration in the camp. Praise God. So many wonderful things the Lord has done. But I want to share with you what the Lord spoke to me. And the reason is because this coming Sunday, I'm going to do an in-depth, um, detailed teaching on what the Lord has been speaking to me about. But I wanted to at least give you a forewarning and give you an outline of these things. I really encourage you to tune in to our Sunday afternoon, 2.30 p.m. Pacific time, live stream, and uh, you get the, the full thing. Hallelujah. There's much to rejoice over. I keep saying that because let me share some of these things with you, and you'll understand why. We know that from the very beginning, the Lord spoke to me. He sent an angel to tell me uh, in April of 2016 that the hand of the Lord was on Donald Trump. That angel said, the dogs of hell have been released against the one with the hand of the Lord on him. And then he described what they were. He said, pray against false witness, hatred, and murder. Those were the dogs of hell. Then he said, speak truth and justice into the atmosphere, and we, the angels, will break the spiritual teeth, the authority of the enemy. And so false witness, hatred, and murder was launched against Donald Trump and against anyone who would support him. They lied about him. They attempted to bankrupt him. They indicted him. They attempted to imprison him. They tried to kill him. They tried to destroy his destiny and what God had lined up. But God came through. And as Lions Army warriors, you were instrumental in that. And I just thank you for that. But the Lord spoke to me day before yesterday, Monday, about these things. He told me to write them on a piece of paper and then see how they line up with the election. So this is 48 hours, 24 hours before the election took place. The Lord told me these things. Number one, he said, Moses has changed the verdicts of man, but there is still work to do. The reason for Moses is because it goes all the way back to November 6th of 2020, when after that election, I went to the Lord and I asked him, what in the world's going on here? Uh, why did this other administration come in? They're not godly. It's uh, an anointing of the ruling political spirit of Jezebel. And so the Lord just took me into the heavens and in spiritual vision, I saw a scale of justice hanging there in the heavens. And they were out of balance, and there was a thumb on one scale pulling it down. And the Lord said, there is a thumb on the scale, and it is robbery. Then he said, give Moses time to work. Interestingly, just uh, within 30 days prior to that, the Lord had given me a vision of Moses, who was handing a scroll, uh, and there was an angel involved, and it 
was detailing things that were going to take place. I couldn't see what was on the scroll, but he had a staff in his hand and so forth. Moses, it wasn't him literally that I saw, but when God said, give Moses time to work, he was talking about the laws and the courts of heaven. Give them time to work and to influence the laws and the courts of man. So Moses has changed the verdicts of man. Hallelujah. He's been working, but there's still work to do. The second thing the Lord told me is he said, rejoice over the stay in judgment that would have come to the U.S. if it had chosen Jezebel's idolatry. I just scribbled these themes down as he was speaking. In other words, there was a judgment held, and it would have been released if the outcome of this presidential election had not gone, gone the right way. So we can rejoice. He told us, rejoice. There isn't judgment. Now there's going to be some wonderful things. In fact, number three, he said there is a release of radical prosperity and evangelism that's going to happen in the United States, and then also it'll influence the world. What happens here influences the world. That's very important to know. As far as prosperity goes, it'll be national and it will be individual. So go ahead and get ready for it as it plays out. Evangelism. There's going to be radical evangelism, a lot of uh, outpouring of the Spirit of God, revival, spiritual awakening happening in America. You just watch, because this whole shift that's happened in the spiritual realm and is manifest now with this new administration coming in, because remember, this is all about revival. It's about spiritual awakening, mass evangelism. I've been saying this since 2016. That's what the Lord said. And so it's coming to pass. Get ready for it. The next thing he said is that doors of opportunity will open for building spiritual wealth and financial wealth. Spiritual wealth is not only evangelism, but it's, it's among the body of Christ and the lion's army. Uh, he's going to take us into a new decade, this spiritual dynamics and blessings of God, revelations, visions, dreams, uh, moving with angelic beings and encounters and, and power and miracles and souls wanted. I mean, the list goes on. Just dramatic things are going to happen. But also financial wealth. God wants you to build financial wealth. He said it's important for us now because these doors are going to open to, number one, discern, then number two, seize, then number three, manage. So discern the doors, the opportunities that come. Number two, then seize them. You got to do that by faith and by authority, step out of what the Lord uh, through the Holy Spirit tells you personally, and then you have to manage it. In other words, take care of it. Uh, and be like a wise farmer in some sense who plants the seed and then tends it and waters it. until you got to do that. That's the managing process of these things. God is, is opening up for each and every one. Then he said this. He said that you'll have four years to build the solid structure of your spiritual and financial life. Now, he didn't say that, that you only get four years. Uh and I recognize that in two years in America, we're going to have midterm elections. So we've got to face that that's coming up. But he specifically said four years to build the solid structure for your spiritual and financial life. In other words, get everything in order, build the foundation, the walls, the roof, so that in the future, you're in good stead from here on out. And then he said this, he's repeated this to me um, ever since 2016. He said, make all you can, give all you can, and save all you can. Uh, in other words, there's a responsibility for the kingdom and also for your family and in the body of Christ as he keeps covenant fulfillment for us to actually do it right. Make all you can. Don't be lethargical about it. Give all you can. You know, 
support the, the poor, um, support ministries, anointings. You have opportunities of giving into ministries that are leading. Praise God. So, uh, you know, and what you give, you'll reap back again. Praise God. And then save all you can. In other words, investments, saving, different things. You got to be wise with all these things. That's what the Lord's saying. Why? Because he used the word wealth. He said, doors of opportunity will open for building spiritual wealth and financial wealth. He wants you to have both kinds of wealth. Praise God. Hey, I'm, I'm heeding this, CK and I. We're going to be active in everything I'm telling you. And then the last thing he said is, Lion's Army, finish the campaign. The war isn't over yet. So praise God. Great things are happening. It's time to rejoice. And I'll explain so much more this coming Sunday. But let me also recommend that you go watch last Sunday, November 3rd. I taught on the prophetic resistance movement, and I laid out what is happening, an overall understanding, an umbrella of revelation of what the Lord is doing right now and how to take a stand, and we are the ones that are resisting the enemy's tactics. And finally, I would like to recommend my book, The Lion's Army. This book is going to be released after the first of the year. In fact, two weeks after President Trump's inauguration. The reason that the Lord had me write this is not only good information for people on how to walk in the Spirit, particularly understanding, learning about the ways of the Spirit for these last days, but because I go into detail about what the warfare is going to be from here on out. But I also teach people how to walk in the Spirit. There's so much in here about your prayer life, about the gifts of the Spirit, how to hear the voice of God, etc. It'll be a real blessing to you. So you can pre-order this now wherever books are sold. So you'll want to get that. Praise God. Now I want to pray for you. Lord Jesus, Hallelujah, we stop and we just worship you and we praise you and we thank you. The Lion of Judah roared and the heavens shifted. The atmosphere changed and you are bringing about righteousness in this nation. I thank you for that, Lord God, and I worship you for it in the name of Jesus. And now lead us into this new Christian era, this new day that is before us, Lord God. And I pray for every one of those viewers who are part of the Lion's Army. Lord God, that you would bless them with physical strength, with healing, that you would bless them with financial prosperity, that you would open these doors for every single one of them that you have planned to bring us to this new day of victory in our lives. God bless each and every one of you. You are such a blessing to CK and I. And I do want to also say, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Would you do that? And if the Holy Spirit is moving in your heart to sow an offering into this ministry, the link to our website is in the description. Do so, and God will bless you with the prophet's reward.